What a way to start the day. 9,000 horsepower of pure short line muscle rocked the town of Mullins, South Carolina right out of bed on this sunny Friday morning. I've ventured into the Palmetto State with hopes of chasing R.J. Corman's Carolina line, running from Mullins to Myrtle Beach by way of North Carolina. I figured the interchange with CSX a good place to start, and figured correct. The four locomotives had pulled their train off RJC rails and were now shoving south on the connection track, which will put them on Class 1 property where they will leave this outbound train. A neat thing about short line conglomerates is you can usually find all sorts of locomotives from all sorts of backgrounds. 7710 is a straight up GP38 from the Conrail and Penn Central. Number 3813 is off the MKT as a GP38-2. 8336 is a snoot nose SD40T-2 from the legendary Southern Pacific. And our leading motor, number 3812, is also a Dash 2 with roots to the Katy. In terms of rail fanning, and quite honestly in general, this is a rarely visited corner of South Carolina. There's not much CSX action here aside from the local that serves RJ Corman, and the short line comes into town on nobody's schedule other than their own. I had hit the nail right on the head this morning though, as a crew was dropping a sizable cut of outbounds at the CSX interchange. About 20 minutes later and here came the inbounds with a GP38-2 up front, followed by a loaded center beam, one open top hopper, 14 closed hoppers, 11 box cars, two empty center beams, and the remaining three locomotives. Because of the track layout in Mullins, the three engines on the bottom end were now positioned to lead the train back east. With this in mind, I jumped to an old train station back on RJ Corman trackage in order to watch the inbound train getting underway.
just when you think you know exactly what's going on, a curveball is thrown your way. I was pleasantly surprised to see that 3813 and 7710 had been left in Mullins, perhaps on account of another inbound off CSX in the near future. This meant that the old Southern Pacific tunnel motor would be leading long hood forward, with the 3812 trailing on the bottom end dead in tow. The train and I didn't cover too much ground before the first stop on the east side of Mullins. The crew was setting off all 14 covered hoppers, a task that wound up eating about an hour. No skin off my back, however, as I was happily taking in the unusual sights of a tunnel motor. These SD40-2 variations were built specifically for Southern Pacific and Union Pacific in the mid to late 70s for exclusive use on mountainous routes with, you guessed it, lots of tunnels. Most tunnel motors came with what's called a snoot nose or an extra long short hood designed to house electronics necessary for distributed power capabilities. Neither the tunnel use or DPU features would be necessary on today's trip through the Lowcountry, as the crew was now back underway tracking east. The RJ Corman Carolina Lines, or RJCS, is a rather funky looking railroad. Tracks come east out of Mullins for 28 miles before turning 90 degrees to the south in the town of Chadburn, North Carolina. It's another 13 miles to the state line from Chadburn, and another 30 miles from there to the end of the line in Conway, South Carolina. The tracks used to run into Dirty Myrtle, but there hasn't been a train there for years, and it will likely stay that way. RJ Corman has brought this line back to life in recent years, previously owned by the defunct Carolina Southern Short Line who put the line up for abandonment. RJCS has been growing steadily since its inception, and yet it took me three tries to get some train action on the tracks down in South Carolina. Living about 90 minutes away, I've tried multiple times to rail fan the old Carolina Southern, and was pleased to have finally found the train. This also marked the first time I'd seen some RJ Corman operations, a well and true short line seen running along old rickety tracks through small towns like Nichols. I love small town scenes like this, with oddball tunnel motors and DIT jeeps bringing the scene full circle. The train and I are still wandering around in South Carolina, as I had Riley Green screaming while the 8336 snuck by. So 
What an incredible stretch of land with a trackside dirt road right smack in the middle of a pristine South Carolina forest. I was enthralled by the nature surrounding me and felt total inner peace. Everything was so at ease, it was completely silent and extremely peaceful. I could have stayed here all day, but alas, I did have a train to chase. The landscape stretched for miles and I was honestly considering ditching the train and just driving around the forest for the rest of the morning. I stayed true to the task, however, and was set up at my final location in South Carolina just a couple miles up the road. For as much train chasing as I do, it's not all that often that I cross state lines with an iron horse. Come to think of it, the only other times I've crossed state lines while chasing trains is through Folkestone, a wildly different experience when compared to the relaxed pace of the Carolina lines. About an hour later and the train had caught back up to me after shuffling the first two loads up from the bottom of the train. I believe this was done in preparation to drop all 11 boxcars as well as the trailing four axle at an online customer, although I'm unsure as to why this couldn't have been done upon arrival. It made no difference at this point in the game, as the train and I were getting closer and closer to the base of operations in Chadburn.
Finally, squarely in town limits, I was all set up to watch the snoot-nosed tunnel motor turn south back towards the Palmetto State. Beginning in December of 2022, RJ Corman has opened up another operation, this time in North Carolina. The Raleigh-Fayetteville Railway will connect its two namesake cities by way of original Norfolk Southern tracks and trackage rights over the current NS. I'm quite excited about this for a number of reasons, one of which being that I'll have a new short line close to Wilmington. Rest assured, I'll be bringing coverage of that operation at some point. But for now, the RJCS will do just fine as I got one final roll by south of Chadburn. I figured this was an excellent shot to end my day with as the tunnel motor wrapped around the curve and out into some gorgeous December afternoon sunshine. Thanks for rail fanning with me today. I hope you enjoyed chasing RJ Corman along the old Carolina Southern as much as I did. Mm -hmm.